Welcome back. This is Mark Dame with Davis Tech. We're going to do another can cycle. The very first cycle we did was a G81. The next one we're going to do is a pecking cycle where it pecks down so far and retracts back up, pecks down, pecks down so far, retracts back up. That's used where we need hole clearance or to clear the chips out and the drilled hole is a little bit deeper. Let's say for instance, on this particular part, we're gonna go one inch deep and we're using a number seven drill. And it's gonna be tool number two. Now, if you looked at our first program with our spot drill with G81, this was the whole program. This is the blueprint where all the holes are gonna be. But in this particular case, we're not doing a spot drill, we're doing a pecking drill. So one thing we're gonna get rid of is tool number one. It becomes tool number two. So that's all we have to change. The spindle speed might be a little bit different. So instead of 7,000 RPM, we're gonna go 5,000 RPM. The G54 location where it's gonna be, our safety line is already there. This is now instead of tool or program two, it's program three. And all I'm changing, instead of a spot drill, I'm pecking, so a G83. Everything remains here the same except the Z depth. We're going to go one inch deep, but we need to tell it how much we need to peck each time. To peck, it's a Q value. So we have a Q and I want to peck, let's say 200 thousandths each peck. And we're going to go to a Z of negative one inch. Instead of 70 inches a minute, let's say we're doing this at 50 inches a minute. everything remains the same. The, the holes are in the same spot after we spot drilled it. Now we're gonna peck drill it. So the X, Y is our first hole location. Then we go to X of one, which is one inch over, then two inches over, then three inches over. There they are, one, two, and three. We cancel our can cycle. We send it home. We're into the program and go from there. So what did we really change on this is a tool number. One other thing we've got to do Instead of height offset one, since this is tool two, we have to do height offset two. So it reads that correctly. So we have, we've changed the T, the H, the spindle speed, a Q value and a Z depth. Everything else is pretty much the same. Our safety line, call up the tool, turn on the spindle, call up our work offset, uh, work coordinate, Call off our height offset, tell it we're doing a drilling cycle, which is a pecking cycle, put a Q in there, and the Z depth, and everything remains the same. That's how you do a pecking cycle. 